Hello friends, we are back with another interview problem that is convert a decimal number to its binary representation. Okay, it's a beginner level problem. So we have given a number and we have to give its binary representation. Okay, so for example, if the number is 5, the binary representation would be 1, 0, 1, right? If the number is 8, it would be 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So now let's see how we are going to convert a number to its binary representation. So let's say the given number is 6. Okay. So first thing we'll do, we'll divide 6 by 2. Okay. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And what is the remainder? Remainder is 0. Okay. So now I'll take this 3 and again divide it by 2. So 3 divided by 2 is 1 and the remainder is 1. Okay. And now this 1, 1 divided by 2 is 0 and the remainder is 1. So this is the binary representation in this order. So 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0 is the binary representation of number 6. So let's take another example. So let's say the number is 9. Okay. So 9 divided by 2 is 4 and remainder is 1. Now 4 divided by 2 is 2 and the remainder is 0. 2 divided by 2 is 1 remainder is 0 and 1 divided by 2 is 0 and the remainder is 1 okay so this is the representation 1 0 0 1 so the algorithm is we'll keep dividing the given number by 2 until that number becomes 0 and we'll keep track of the remainders and at the end, when number becomes zero, we'll print the remainders in the reverse order, right? So let's take one more example. Uh, let's take eight, okay? So eight divided by two is four, and the remainder is zero, and uh, four divided by two, is 2, remainder is 0, 2 divided by 2, remainder uh, is 1, remainder is 0, and 1 divided by 2 is 0, and the remainder is 1. So now we'll stop the operation here, and these are the remainders. So we'll print that in the reverse order. So that is 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so let's go back to the problem. Okay, so initialize the result string while the given number is greater than 0, keep dividing it by 2 and append the remainder of the division to the result string. Once the number is 0, reverse the result string and this will be the binary representation of the given number. So let's look at the code. So this is our function to binary and it's take, taking number as an input. Um, we have a string builder here and the number is n and uh, while the number is greater than 0, right, first get the remainder and divide the number by 2, okay, and keep adding remainder to the string builder, right. Once the number is 0, that means once you are out of this loop, what we'll do, we'll reverse uh, the string builder and print it right uh, same thing here in python we have a string we have a number while the number is greater than zero we get the remainder add it to the string divide the number by two at the end uh, reverse the string and print it okay so let's uh, let's run this code so we have five eight and 105 So 5 is 101, 1000, and this is the representation of 105. Okay, so 
this is how we'll solve this uh, problem now we can mark this problem as completed and uh, yeah please visit our website tutorialhorizon.com for more interview problems we'll see you guys in the next video bye bye